Ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna have to excuse me, this video is a bit late, but I'm gonna talk about it anyways because I feel like it's still relevant. Um, I'm gonna preface this really quick by saying I've been, you know, I've been a close fan of Gideon for uh, uh, about over a year now. Um, and, you know, will that, will that bias this video? Um, yeah, yes it will. But really, it is what it is, people. Um, Gideon ha most people already know about this because it's kind of been blowing up in, in the news, in like niche news recently. Uh, Gideon has now been banned from Twitch permanently. Uh, originally, it was a two week suspension and now it has evolved into a current ban through, I guess, other people tampering and complaining and things like that. People who weren't satisfied with the original punishment of two weeks. Uh, Gideon has now been permanently banned from Twitch uh, and, and if you want a short, a, a short story of uh, essentially what happened, he sent his viewers over to Pokimane's chat to spam L plus ratio, uh, in the chat. Yo, chat, 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 chat. Guys, 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 guys. Follow her, follow her, follow her, follow her right now, y'all. Follow her right now. Follow her right now. We're going to be back, y'all. We will be back. Oh, y'all niggas already follow her. Yo, what the? Niggas are cap. Niggas are snitching. Niggas are snitching, bro. She's not gonna fuck you. She's not gonna fuck you, bro. She's not gonna fuck you, nigga. Nigga, why are you snitching? Stupid miners. Do I support harassing other streamers? Absolutely not. Do I support any form of online harassment whatsoever? Do I support? spamming, uh, you know, hate spamming in people's chats, absolutely not. But do I support Pokimane? Again, absolutely not. I'm making this video to spread awareness. Uh, we need to, I think we need to free Gideon. I think a two week suspension for what he did is, is very fair. You know, I think, I think some form of, of Twitch punishment is very fair for, you know, what he actually did, which is, you know, send viewers to, you know, spread hate in another person's chat. That's not something I would ever do. Uh, and I'm not a fan of Pokimane. I, I don't hate Pokimane or anything. I've just never considered her to be that good of a content creator nor that good of a person. But, uh, you know, we're, we're going to go back. Okay, we're going to go back. We're going to dissect this whole story, essentially. Uh, so I can kind of kind of explain to you piece by piece what exactly happened between these two content creators. So first we have Exhibit A. Uh, I think, I don't really think I need to like explain this, you know, I don't think this really needs needs context. Um, the, the video will speak for itself. Nick, uh, you ain't funny. That's not true. Maybe you're just boring as fuck and lame as hell. Cause <laughs> Only lame niggas say that shit. Now, this video isn't new. This video, you know, isn't something that just recently surfaced. You know, I think I think back when po Pokimane said, you know, those words on stream, she had a f far um, smaller audience. Because, you know, nowadays with huge audiences, you know, people like Dream, Pokimane, you know, all these really large streamers, you have so many people watching, it, watching you at a given point in time. Uh, that, that you have to essentially censor every every little thing you say because, you know, censoring is basically the exchange for more monetization, more money, uh, and more, you know, obviously less criticism because the more people who, the more people who are going to view you, the more criticism you're going to receive regardless. So, you know, censoring every little thing you say uh, is definitely a part of that when it comes to large content creation. So I don't think she would ever do that nowadays. However... That doesn't excuse what she said, you know, um, and, and and again, I'm not I, I just want to make it also clear that I'm not, you know, uh, claiming at all that Gideon did like anything right in this situation either. I'm not trying to say that Gideon is absolved of any wrongdoing, but, but I mean, I am I am a Gideon fan. So again, that's probably going to bias me here. Oh, well, I mean, if, if you're a Pokemon fan, this video is probably not for you, but uh, I'm going to I'm going to continue now. So that video has been around for months, years, whatever, right? Uh, so Gideon, it, it's also become a meme kind of within the Gideon community. Uh, it's been played on his Twitch streams quite a few times to the point where it's even, I believe, a donation sound in his streams. I've never actually been there for the Twitch streams, but I do watch a lot of the replays of them on his secondary channel because that's essentially where he kind of recycles a lot of his Twitch content. So with that in mind, we're actually going to rewind a few weeks to when Pokemon actually uh, ended up getting banned for DMCA related content on her stream, you know, copyright strike and things like that playing other people's content I, I believe now i could be wrong because i only heard about this like once but i but i believe she was like watching a movie or a show or something 
uh, on her stream and like not really adding anything to it at all. She was literally just watching it and like saying nothing. But you know, that's just what I heard. That that's all alleged. Um, it could have been something completely different. So don't quote me on that. And upon her return, uh, Gideon happened to also be streaming at the same time. And, you know, Gideon with a long history of, like, back and forths between Pokemon on Twitter, I believe, and things like that. Just, you know, a, a lot of flack towards Pokemon in the past. Uh, Gideon basically has his viewers go and spam L plus ratio in Pokemon's chat. Now, this obviously is a bad thing. This is not, this is not something I condone. I already said that a million times. I've, I've already said that a million times already. But I, I just feel like I have to emphasize it. I do not think that that's the right thing to do. I think add, adding negativity to a situation that's already negative is only going to make it more negative, obviously. And it's funny because this only happened, uh, I believe, a day or two after Gideon became a partner on Twitch. It was like a few, like a day or two after he actually became a Twitch partner. So, I mean, this is all just kind of dumb as well. Because you're immediately gaining the ability to, you know, have such a financial gain come your way. And then you do this and get banned. And after this, you know, whole hate raid, um, he ended up getting banned for a total of 14 days from Twitch, or suspended, rather. Uh, and upon, you know, tampering, whether it was from other people, you know, I believe he uh, he submitted an appeal as well. Uh, a pop, after all this stuff, it actually evolved into a permanent ban, which a permanent ban I do not personally believe is justified. It's not my it's not my position to say because I'm not the victim here, nor am I Gideon, nor am I the platform. You know, I'm just a viewer. My my opinion here matters, you know, just about as much as Kanye West matters in you know a presidential election. And according to Pokimane, she herself has nothing to do with uh, Gideon's ban. Uh, uh, according to her, she, you know, did not press any buttons. According to her, she didn't, she didn't really contact Twitch or anything to try to get his ban, you know, you know, extended. And do I think she did? No. Uh, honestly, realistically, I don't think that uh, that's just kind of like a petty thing to do, even for Pokimane. But another thing is that Pokimane frequently is bringing up the idea that Gideon and all these other people are essentially hate raiding her and harassing her and, you know, coming after her specifically and exclusively because she's a woman. Gideon did even put out a tweet that specifically stated he did not hate her because of her gender or anything, but specifically because of the content of her character. And, you know, that does not make that true. And that does, and that definitely doesn't, uh, you know, uh, justify anything he's done. But I still think that, like, playing the gender card here is kind of you know, straying away from the entire concept of this whole thing. You know, harassment period towards anybody is just not okay. So in order to really look at, you know, both sides of the story here, um, this is a post that Pokimane put out, uh, you know, a few days ago. Uh, th this is essentially a list in, like, the notes app of every way he, like, hurt her feelings, I guess, but um, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna be looking through this, okay? So Gideon tweeted negative slash hateful things about me before the hate raid uh, made YouTube videos about me. Now this, this is obviously not okay. Uh, this has nothing to do with Twitch at all. You know, your actions on other apps have nothing to do with Twitch bans and things like that. Uh, but another thing is like, you know, when you talk shit about somebody on Twitter or YouTube, you don't usually get taken off of the platform for it. One thing I've noticed is that Twitch is extraordinarily sensitive when it comes to banning people, especially when it's placed against other popular social media and streaming platforms. You know, I, I guess with the exception of TikTok, because those motherfuckers are sensitive as hell. Uh, but anyways, back on topic, uh, he hate rated me and told his viewers to spam L plus ratio, uh, but this part matters the least according to her, so... Uh, anyways, after I put on follower mode, he told his viewers to follow me so they can spam me later. Again, terrible. I'm, I, I'm going to stop including the fact that I don't support this stuff. If, if there's something on here that involves harassment, you can just assume that I don't support it and that I'm not trying to justify it at all. Uh, guys, got, got, guys, follow her, follow her, follow her right now. Yeah, he did do that. I, I saw the VOD and everything. He opened up profiles of his subs and called them snitches for telling me what was going on, which led to viewers messaging my subs and harassing them, telling them to kill themselves, calling them slurs, etc. Uh, horrible. Probably the worst thing uh, on this list that I've read so far. Uh, he yelled, you know, some inappropriate stuff about, you know, she's not going to fuck you, bro. Uh, painfully inappropriate because many of my subs are girls or minors. Uh, extreme sexual comments about me telling people that she's getting dicked down uh, every night by another person. Balls deep, you know, just being descriptive. But I mean, you get the idea. A lot of really bad stuff, a lot of, you know, unspeakable things, terrible things. 
Uh, you know, do I think he should? Do I think he should receive scrutiny for this? Absolutely. Do I think he should learn and grow from this? Absolutely. Do I think he should be punished? Absolutely. Do I think he should be banned? Absolutely. But do I specifically believe that that ban should be permanent? No. You know, I've never claimed here that Gideon is a good person. I honestly don't know because I don't know him. We can only really see what's on the surface of the internet. Am I claiming that he is a good person? No. Am I claiming that he is a bad person? No. I simply don't know. Uh, same with Pokimane, but I mean, we can really see what's on the surface of both people and see very flawed, very flawed characters on both sides. You know, there's videos of Pokimane doing very, you know, very objective and very unspeakable things. Same with Gideon. Uh, and, you know, do I think either of them deserve to be permanent, permanently banned from anything? No. I simply enjoy Gideon's content, and that's where that ends. Uh, I'm, I'm simply a fan. But you know what? I'm going to leave it at that, you know. There's not really much more to say. That's essentially the situation. There were a few things that unfolded on Twitter, you know, before all this went down. But, you know, all those tweets are available, and they don't play that huge of a role in the story. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, you know, honestly, what's to happen in the future? I don't know. Do I think Twitch will, uh, you know, reverse their ban? No, I honestly don't because Twitch is not, not the, the nicest people when it comes to bans, uh, and you know, just, just shit like that and punishment and whatnot. Uh, but anyways, people, I will, uh, I will see you all in, in the next video, uh, and y'all have a good one.